your most controversial dating take is just remind me what is it again i don't think that any women should be having premarital sex if they're trying to find a serious long-term monogamous relationship do you think especially marriage i mean but do you think having premarital sex precludes you from having I, I don't suspect that's your position but do you think it precludes women from being able to get a long-term relationship or marriage it, well, it depends on um, the level of discernment they have. I mean, if you're in a long-term monogamous relationship where you're having premarital sex, then you know that's certainly possible, but I think your relationship can only succeed in spite of that. Um, it delays commitment from men. What mm -hmm. is, I mean, essentially, I'm, I'm not saying that sex is the only thing that women can offer, but that is a huge thing. Uh, that you're just giving up before there's been any sign of commitment from a man. Mm -hmm. uh, it, I mean, essentially, sure. like, not having premarital sex incentivizes a man to commit to you in a huge way. It, it shouldn't does, be the yes. only incentive, certainly. Um, sure. Are you religious? Are you Christian? Or? I'm Catholic, yeah. Catholic, okay. Well, I mean, that certainly makes sense within a, in, in a religious context. But I also think it makes sense in a secular one. Sure, I agree with you. Um, however, I think the dating landscape as it is currently, uh, you know, I think mo definitely most people are not waiting until marriage. Yeah. So. They aren't. Yeah. I mean, what, what is the term? Uh, the, the genie is out of the bottle. I mean. <laughs> not for individuals. I mean, individuals can make whatever choices they want. And, no. you know, if you've had premarital sex, that doesn't. Uh, prevent you from making the choice to wait with a certain person as well I I, but it is yes. proven that like with the number of sexual partners that a woman has mm -hmm. before marriage it exponentially increases the likelihood of divorce no you're right the more even with just one partner and two like low body counts yeah well the yeah the more premarital sexual partners you have the greater likelihood of reporting relationship dissatisfaction, the higher likelihood of infidelity, higher likelihood of divorce. Yeah. So I'm not like a right. statistician or whatever. I just well, I, I mean, know they've of that. done studies on yeah, it. Yeah. They've definitely done studies on that. But I, you know, I think the thing is, is that women control access to sex. So women dictate whether there is a hookup culture or not. Yeah. So while men, to some degree and really it's the top tier of men, the top 10, top 20% of men, to some degree obviously play into it. Men, obvi were, men will obviously welcome easy access to sex. However, at the end of the day, women are the ones who decide when sex happens. Yeah. So if we wanna see us straying away from a hookup culture, women are gonna have to lead the charge on that. I think men perhaps have some yeah. If, you're, if you want to be really trad con, you can say men have some role in terms of being leaders in that realm, but the difference is, is men have different sexual strategies. So, and this is on a biological evolutionary level. So men's sexual strategy is to basically spread the seed because we can impregnate 30 women in a month. Whereas as a woman, you can only get pregnant in that last nine months, right? right. So. Women's sexual strategy is get the best man that you can get, whereas men, it's sleep with as many women as you can get. In terms of a sexual strategy, now in terms of ch ha having children, obviously men are gonna wanna have, you know, want to be there to raise the child, but that's a different conversation. Um, so, uh, but the way the dating landscape is, is that men are not really incentivized to commit because women We'll have sex with a dude on the first, second, third date. Yeah. And I don't necessarily think that's, well, I don't think that's necessarily wrong, but that would explain where we find ourselves with hook, hookup culture. And I don't think men or women are particularly satisfied with the status quo. No, they're not. Um, so. I don't think they're willing to admit maybe the reasons why they're not satisfied with the status quo of dating right now because it requires them to look at their own behavior. Does anyone on this side of the table would like to say anything? No. Oh, Jesus <laughs> no? All right. Sorry. I just um, think, like, if you are, like, in a relationship, you're not married yet, or but if you mm -hmm. think that you're going to be with that person, like, forever, I don't... See, well, you like, can what's think the harm? that about a lot what's of people? The harm, what's the harm in like 
having sex before marriage? You can think that you're gonna be with a lot of different people forever yeah. and you can't just go off of emotions. Mm -hmm. Like they can be very deceiving. And you know, even loving someone can't always last forever. Uh, oh, Super chatted $99.99. Thank you, man. A woman decides when sex happens, but a man decides who he marries. A man peaks later in life financially, while a woman peaks in her early 20s. So women need to be aware of what they do early in their life and really think about marriage earlier on. Yeah. Yo, HM, thank you for the uh, big $100 super chat. Really appreciate it, man. Um, okay, so let me ask a question related to this. Um, how long do you guys wait until you have sex with someone? Do you have a three date rule? Just kind of There's feeling no, it out. Sorry. Could be the first night. There's no rule for me, but like definitely not like right soon. Like, you know, like months. <laughs> yeah, I agree with that. I'd say like when the time feels right, but definitely not within the first like few times we're hanging out. Okay, what about you? Well, personally, I have, like, it's, like, my own sort of role that I guess, like, the next person that I do have sex with will probably, like, be my boyfriend. Like, I'd be in a relationship with them just because <laughs> for me, like, sex is obviously, like, very personal. Like, it's an intimate thing to do with some. Oh, it's an intimate thing to do with someone. So, you know, that's just my own preference, though, like, to each their own. But, like, for me, if I was to have sex with someone, it would have to be the next person that I'm in a relationship with. Okay. Next person you're in, so you would want to, because of what you currently want, would you want to wait? Um, honestly, like in my opinion, it's not like a big thing for, sure. for me. Like it's not like when I meet someone, that's not like the first thing that I'm thinking. Like I think that emotional intimacy is something that you build with someone. Mm -hmm. And so therefore, like when I'm in a relationship, like that would be something for me and my partner to discuss, figure out, like going through the relationship. So you mean discuss having sex? Yeah, or like, you know, just what, like, like it's, I guess, boundaries, like what sure. you're comfortable with, like moving yeah. forward. I mean, like, because there's a difference when you first start dating someone versus like you've been dating for months or years and obviously okay. there's mm -hmm. like, it's boundaries. Okay. Um, so you two said kind of wait a while or? Yeah, well, until it like feels right, obviously, but like not soon. Like not soon. soon. Like, I think there are hazards in serial monogamy as well, though. Like, if you're in a bunch of uh, exclusive monogamous relationships, whether they're short or long term, and you have sex with each of those people because you're in a relationship, I don't think that standard really works um, because it still is like inhibiting your ability to pair bond in the future. Mm -hmm. So whether you're only having sex with people that you're official with or you're hooking up with strangers, it's equally inhibiting your ability to pair bond with a you know forever lifetime partner in fact maybe the serial monogamy is worse because your emotions are far more involved with each breakup okay so you said a while i've only dated two people honestly and like so i'm only 18 yeah <laughs> okay you've only dated two people yeah. and you've only hooked up with two people mm, yeah what well, what do you mean by uh, hook up? Like kiss? sex? Oh no, I've had sex with two people. Okay. But I hook up. What about you? Uh, six. S six hookups. Yeah. Well, what do you consider hook up? Sex. Consider, yeah. Yeah. Six. One. One. Just one. Just one. Okay. What is the question? Yeah. Now? So the original question was: Is how long do you think you should wait until having sex? I think it just depends on the vibes. Like three date rule, like five. Five. no, I don't have a rule. I'll fuck on the first date. Like, okay, you'll fuck on the first like, date. What are you yeah, for to sure. Do? What are you trying to do? <laughs> Let's go. Okay. I would say like a three date rule, but really vibes. Okay. So I've been like waiting a really long time to the point where no one else is willing to wait that long. Huh. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> wait. So okay. You, um, can you expand on that? You've been waiting a really long time. What does that mean? Yeah, like, I just really, like, thoroughly want to get to know someone. But, um, yeah, I think they are kind of thinking that maybe, you know, eventually, like, five dates in or something, it's going to happen. But I'm, like, really waiting until I 
feel a really strong connection with someone and I know that they feel that connection with me emotionally. Um, And that even though I've felt that and thought that they were feeling the same thing, eventually when I keep saying like, oh, but I just want to wait a little bit more, um, then they'll all just... Um, Wait, so... You said it's been a while since the last time you've... It's been a while. (laughs) How long are we talking here? Over a year. Okay. I mean, I was thinking longer than that, but over a year. But yeah, before that, it was like over a year. (laughs) So there was... Wait, before that... So there was a year, and then there was a guy, and then... Yeah. How long did they... I really don't mind it because I, I do just value. Yeah, I don't... Okay. So how... You said the guy's thinking oh it's gonna be five dates but it's gonna be longer than that yeah like i don't have like a time frame on it it's just when i feel comfortable when you feel comfortable Mm -hmm. okay and remind me you said that you lost your virginity it was like a one night stand yeah okay that i mean that confuses me a little bit because on one hand you you're now at you said you're 24 yeah but like now that I've experienced both one night stands and a relationship, I definitely prefer a relationship.